Look, that's five eight brothers. I know. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Can you see my feet like not reaching the feet? <laughs> I mean, this is the reason that is why. Terrible. I've got you some. See how we're sitting, that little kid. I've got, I've got some. I've got some overextension here, so it masks it. Terrible. You, yours is like peak. It's like swinging um, my legs. That's some, some bad beat at our club. Some Kevin Hart, you know. It's terrible. <laughs> Make sure it's not too Humpty bad. Dumpty. <laughs> hey. Welcome back, people, to the Table Read Podcast. New and improved. Studio. I thought I'd step up the game a little bit. Um, I also thought I'd get a special guest to kickstart the new and improved edition of the podcast. Um, I couldn't get Will Smith, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so deep. He just said he can't get. Okay, cool. But instead, I thought we'd get Toby Bakari. Who's better than most? Exactly. You want to be finished. Cool. That's right. typical. We're going to get to that aspect of you in a minute. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But yes, Toby Bakari. Yo, what, what are we saying, oh my doggy? Welcome, Sky welcome on, back. Brother. Welcome back. What's going on, brother? What's yeah. going on? Smelling like Guadalupe. Smelling like Guadalupe. Mm-hmm. Smelling like mm-hmm. uh, Kent. Hackney. <laughs> Kent. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Went to the sticks. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but how's it been, man? This, this is the first time we've seen each other since we wrapped on season since 10. Since the airport. Yeah. Yeah. I actually didn't even see you at the airport because I went to Jamaica. Oh, yeah, you did go to Jamaica. <laughs> I was almost saying you were actually deported or what was it? Okay, so my bad. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah it's, it's the first time it's been been like, what? Well, yeah, it's been about, oh, it's been over a year, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. That is quite bad. I know, but we, we spoke on the phone like. Well, I'm still there. Once. <laughs> Once. You know, it's a, it's a weird thing because as actors, you, you it's like you make a connection with someone, mm. and it and it and it 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 stays at the job, and it can easily come out of the job, but you know every time you see them, you just pick up where it's you left off. I was gonna say spark. It's like it's like my marriage. You know what I mean, Aww. yeah, you, you distance for a long time, and you pick up where you left off. <laughs> like. Once every that kind once of every year, yeah. and then you know have a baby, and then leave, and then come back. Come yeah. back again for another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is always interesting when I do these podcasts because I feel like I know the person, but then the first question is like, who is Toby Bakari? Like your background? How did you get into acting? I feel like we've had a lot of long car journeys in Guadeloupe mm-hmm. over to like Deshland or something. Yeah. Well, for like, I know a bit, like a little scratch of your background, but I don't think I know the full story. So I would love to find out right now. The floor is yours. All right. So, um, uh, yeah. So, what, you want me to talk to you or do you want me to talk to the camera? Talk to whoever you want to talk to. All right, cool. I'll I said the floor to... is yours. Oh, the floor. What one floor? What are you saying? <laughs> oh, you good, yeah? I started, um, I, I was in, uh, well, I went to a school in Hackney. So mm. I was born and bred in Hackney. Bop, bop. Um, and, yeah, it was, it was cool. You know, mm. it was it was fine. I was into football. I was known as a sports guy. Don't Who look at you? don't look at my tummy. <laughs> I was trying to like straighten up. Yeah. But yeah, I was known as a sports guy. That was my thing. Football. You know, I had football trials and all that stuff. Um, but I was like the class clown, innit? And because I was a class clown, um, a particular man known as Femi Ogans, who now runs the brand which is Identity Drama mm. School. Came to the school and was like, oh, he's looking for some actors to, you know, to come in and, you know, join his new drama school. Yeah. And then one of the girls was just like, oh, yeah, Tobe, just go because you're funny and all that stuff. And I was like, ah, oh, all right, cool. <laughs> so I was thinking to myself, how am I going to get five pound a week off my mum for this? Oh, really? Five pound back then was a lot more than what it is yeah, today. Fair, 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 you fair. know what I mean? It was a lot more than what it is today. But it was like five pound per session. It was like three hours. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, you know, God bless my parents. Like they, they did what they can, yeah. but like they weren't, they weren't bathing. They weren't swimming in money. You know what I mean? <laughs> so five pound a week, this is going to be tricky. But lo and behold, they said, yeah, go ahead, do nice. it. So like, fantastic. Went to the first one. And there was just so many girls there. I was like, <laughs> oh my days, this is gold. I was like... <laughs> This is fantastic. It's like your motivation to that You know what? In, it, that it was yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, that was the initial the Fair initial play. pool was like, yeah. You know what I mean? Fez. Uh had my first girlfriend within like two weeks in the well, school. Well, going to the school. Yeah, man. 
You weren't there to act. I was just good looking. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what it was. I don't you know what good, happened. I you were not there to learn. Looking. You were there to draw a girl. No, no, no. I'll be honest with you. The first time I went there, I didn't expect it. And then I was just like, I was like, rah, this is crazy. What am I? <laughs> this is madness. This is absolutely Mad. madness. And then, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. And, and, but, but after that, like, first two, three weeks, I started to catch the bug. Mm. Um, the acting bug. And I was like, oh, this is actually interesting. But it was a toss up between football and acting because the football was going good now yeah. you know I was around about the age of 14 at okay. this time and as the football was going good I was like boy I think I'm gonna have to like quit this acting thing to pursue, pursue, to football. pursue football man wow. I had a trial with Millwall I was like getting into the Hackney team on the verge of the London team and I was just like okay cool this is like this is something that I could do you know mm. um and plus like you know like when you're from 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 like ends hackney you know or, or south london or wherever football is different. football is like the pathway everyone out you know what i mean you know everyone wants to be a football player yeah. and so that was my bag and my older brother was a football player my dad used to play football when he was okay. in nigeria so there's a history of it yeah. as well and we were just good you know what i mean we were actually good at the game i was I actually played football with toby yeah, and go and t- tell them. You are, yeah. Tell them what you're. Th- what he you're knows doing. what he's doing. I'll put it that way. He knows what he's doing. Well, yeah, I'm a bit. People say I'm like Xavi or Iniesta. Or... Who says that? You said. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, so um, yeah, so basically, I uh, um, I ended up um deciding to go ahead and quit the drama squad. I went in there. I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna tell them that I'm done. Wow. I go there now, and I'm like, okay, so um. Yeah, I'm thinking of like leaving. My football's going good, and then Femi Ogans, who's the the owner of, founder of uh, Identity Drama School, mm-hmm. he was also the teacher at that time because it was so fresh. He had mm-hmm. to do everything. He just turns to me and goes, "Just stay." And I went, "Okay." Was that it? And I walked in <laughs> and didn't look back. It was what? so strange. What the hell? It was so strange. <laughs> Fair no, enough, it was mad. Like it was less so is more sometimes. I'm telling you, like it was, it was literally as strange as that. And then from there, that's when the ball started to, 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 to get get rolling. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, but my first acting job was actually uh, doing Macbeth. Again, I was young. I was like uh, 16. Um, it was at the Arcola Theatre. Mm. It was just uh, they done like an African version of Macbeth. They had come to the drama oh, wow. school to find some young people to play. Uh, like the younger kids yeah. in the show, and uh, I ended up booking it. Didn't get paid, it's but it was, it was it was a bad experience. It's yeah, it's experience. not about it's money. Right. I'm it's not right. in this for money. Um, so <laughs> don't judge me. I'm not in this for money. You're in it for money. Um, <laughs> I'm in it so, for the love of the craft. Yeah, yeah, so yeah right. That was so painful. <laughs> Carry on. Um, <laughs> so I ended up um, like I like you get a chance to sort of watch. Yeah. Them from like from the wings while they're performing, and there was one particular actor, uh, actor called Danny Sapani. Okay. Right. And he was playing Macbeth at the time, and just seeing him like just take the stage and own the space, I was like, yeah, man. Fairs. Home. I'm home. What you wanna do? Okay. And that's when it kicked off, man. That's when it really started. A lot of people do say like the first time they wanted to realized they wanted to be an actor was going to some sort of theater or something and being in the space mm. and feeling that energy realizing that's what they mm-hmm. want to do mm-hmm. okay so that was a start mm-hmm. there's a middle mm-hmm. there's not an end yet no there's not good, <laughs> good. there is not good but somewhere <laughs> along those lines you yeah. ended up in a show called death in paradise yeah yeah so um like i i, I had been um I had been working for a considerable amount of time. Yeah, you know what I mean. For I had been I had been working for about uh, eight eight to nine years. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, had done some good work. You know, had been very consistent. Had a pop at the education thing. Tried to go to university. That lasted a year and a half. It's long time. That lasted. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, definitely. Time, honestly, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and um. But yeah, I had done, my, done the circuit, but um, Death in Paradise came along, got the audition, and my initial reaction, if I'm to be really honest, and um, I'll finally say this, exclusive, mm. I initially said no. What? To Death in Paradise. Yeah. 
when you were offered the part, you originally turned it down? Not offered. When the audition, the audition came, came through. I initially said no, and it was the, the prospect of doing three years on a job and them having a three-year option on me. Ah. I was like, oh, man, that's a long time. And it felt like the way my career was going is that I wanted to do a project and move on. And do one and move on. You know wow, what I mean? Wow, okay. Um, I ended up, uh, like, again, Femi Ogans. He, he, he was like, oh, Tobes, like, just, you know, just go in. I was like, okay, just tell them to send me the script. They were like, no, like, they just, yeah, they sent me the script, looked at the character. I was like, oh, okay, cool. This is actually quite cool. Yes. Character's quite interesting. And I decided to go ahead and go, go for it, man. Because I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good project. And I'm glad you uh, did. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Otherwise, we would not be... Well, maybe, you never know. Yeah, no, we would have... I mean, don't worry, we'll get on to how you book Death in Paradise. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I am... Um, uh, from there, like, um, done the first audition, and then something crazy happened. Go on. Right, are you ready to hear this? I'm ready now. Okay, you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but that's fine. It's all good. It's well documented that I'm crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, my now wife, who wasn't my wife at the time, right... I was going through this weird, I had met the one. She was like, oh yeah, I know I'm gonna marry this girl. But as soon as I was like, as soon as I felt that, I started to think of the future and all of like the, you know, man, how am I gonna provide? I'm an actor, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm working, then I'm not working, and I'm working, and I'm not working, how am I gonna do this? And so I started trying to do all these different type of things and I decided to just stop. And then there was a day, right, where me and my wife, it wasn't my wife at the time. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? What's this guy laughing for? It's when you're pausing every time you say like, well, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know what I mean? Like, uh, she wasn't. No. Gosh, I'm trying to be honest and you're laughing at me. You know what it's I mean? It's you. What do you mean it's me? It's bro? like everything is like... Looking like some but... table map. <laughs> Stop, bro. Don't hype. Continue. So, Continue. <laughs> so, <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, so me and her, we were talking and then like we were just like praying about like how we're gonna how I'm gonna get through this and then literally as soon as we stopped I got a call from the agent saying I got a recall for Death in Paradise okay and lo and behold she didn't know I auditioned for it and she jumps up and she goes is this job in the Caribbean and I was like yeah and she starts jumping up and going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like okay this is weird now obviously I'm like you don't know what job this is. You don't know anything yeah. about this. Then, but at that point, because of her reaction, I knew I was going to book it. Okay. And lo and behold, I went to the second audition and booked it. Okay. And then I told the producer, the executive producer, Tim, I was like, in, the, in our first meal, I remember saying, yeah, like, I, it sounded cocky in it, to be fair. <laughs> I was like, I knew I was going to get it. That's so cocky, isn't it? Okay. How are you going to say that to the executive producer? But that is, hey, that, is that, was, that was, that um, was, uh, she eventually told me, like, that, that yeah, that she knew, and she told me why. She had this dream, and she saw two wedding rings in on an island. And just before I left, just before I left to go to the Caribbean, mm. I proposed to her. So she knew I was going to propose to her, and she and knew I was going to book the job in the Caribbean. That's nuts. And that is how, That's that, nuts. that was how that came about. That's nuts. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm just, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, it's quite tricky. Like, I know, no, but that's I know, mad. That's but yeah. mad. So you mentioned my audition. Yeah, so this was great. So Taj, I just would like to know. Oh, um, that's what we're doing? Yeah, I okay. just want to know, like, how did, how, did you, um, how did you book Death in Paradise? What was that process? I'll tell it from my side of the story, okay? Side, yeah. My side. I was playing the whole, not the whole journey, but the, the step leading up to me booking it. So at the time I was training. Oh yeah, uh, identity. You, okay. And then we're doing a um. What course was it? Don't say what course, bro. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, was that, was no, I involved? No, sorry, for, yeah, no, you wasn't there. No. Whoa, wow. Um, we were doing a course. I think it was text. Text. We're doing. I don't know. Why we, I don't know. I'm looking at him either. I don't know either. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We're doing text, and um, we had a teacher. Um, it was alright, I guess. Um, actor. Mm. You know, decent actor. Mm. Um, name was. Toby or something like that. Some, some call me David. Oh yeah, or well, David. I don't know. <laughs> forgot about that. You know? Dave. I forgot about that. What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, he was teaching me. I think maybe for like, oh, it might have been a week or two, 
then I got an audition through for Death in Paradise. I was aware of the show because I knew um, our teacher at the time was in the show. Then I remember asking, just because we were doing a technique at the time, a very good acting technique with good with character. And I remember asking, do you think I've got an audition? Do you think I should use your technique for the audition? And he said, yeah, go ahead. I got, um, do you know what it's for? Do you know what it's for? Do you want to know what it's for? And you go, I think I know what it's for because you've come and spoke to me by it. I've gone like, okay, cool. That's it. I did my audition, my first one. I think it went pretty well. Get a recall. It's a chemistry read with, lo and behold, Mr. Toby Vakari. Oh, look at that. And I thought it went all right. Did another one. Thought it went quite decent again. And um, I managed to get a part. Look at that. That's amazing. Coincidences. And, and, and and it all just. I felt like it was all on my own doing. Yeah, it just. From all, my perspective. It all started from using a technique that you were taught. And <laughs> I don't know who that teacher was, but honestly, that teacher, I think you should really give a shout out to that teacher. I did. It was just in case they don't know. I thought he, whoever he was, it was a great technique and it managed to help me get the role. Really? Okay, cool. Yeah. Great, man. Whoever that have teacher you, was. Have you given him like percentage of your weight? <laughs> Hell no. No, okay, cool. Does he want one? For we would never know. Why not? We would never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it, was, it, was, it was crazy and it's one of those moments, mm. um, I guess, in my own life where I am like, you are where you're meant to be. You know okay. what I mean? Because, you know, it's, it's like for me, I've, so I, I, I've always had a bit of a, uh, a thing for coaching or for training, mm. for teaching the arts, you know what I mean? For teaching acting. Um, I, I run a company um, called Rort Artisan and, and what we do, we specialize in, in all sorts of things. Mm. But from that, I decided to come and, tri uh, and teach in identity yeah. drama school where Taj was um, training. Um, and lo and behold, the technique that I was teaching, he wanted to use. Now, this is like a, a, a homemade technique, yeah. you know what I mean? So something that I, I just concocted. You know what I mean? Concoct. Uh, yeah, I mean something like you know when you just before the lesson you go, oh, what am I gonna do? Okay, cool. That. You know what I mean? It was one of those ones, but he decided to take it like it's uh, made it sound like it's Stanislavski, and that's it the was, most important it was thing. Good. Just make it sound it was, like it worked. Make it sound like it's a practitioner that everybody. Hey, knows, listen, it worked, did it? You know, I wanted to big it up. And then just I just added some Russian title to it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's to authenticate. I it. believe you. I did that. As well. <laughs> but but yeah. So um, so I did that, um, and then. Taj comes to me, he goes, oh yeah, I told you I got this audition. Oh, I need help. I really need help. Oh, I'm struggling so much. Help me, help me. I was like, yo, 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 calm down, son. Calm down. It's all good. Just trust the technique. He's like, yeah. And he's crying, snobbing, all that stuff. I was like, yo. Get, I was like, get one of your, your classmates to get some tissue. Like, this guy's just all up in my face. True story. True you know what I mean? And then, um, <laughs> then he comes back and tells me he's got uh, the recall, which is great. Fantastic. Mm doing a chemistry read, I'm acting like I don't know him because I didn't want, want them to think like there's a bit of favoritism here, you know? Didn't tell them, I actually mm. didn't tell them. Did you that, not? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't tell okay. them at all like that. I was like that. teaching you at the time or anything because I just wanted it to be you, mm. you know what I mean? And your own thing. Um, neither did I call you at the time and say, oh, like, I didn't give you any, no, like, you, nah, you never, no, 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 it's just you, nah, like, nah, nah, nah. trust the technique, okay. you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whose technique it is, but trust yeah. the technique. Yeah, trust the technique. And um, lo and behold, you know, we eventually are working with each other. And, and, and it was, no, it was great, man. I can't lie to you. I really enjoyed working with you. So did I. You know, I, I knew I was going to leave Death in Paradise mm. where, before I left, which is well documented online. But I would have stayed another year because of you. Really? No, no, no. You were, you were the one that created the conflict wow. in between me leaving because I've, because I've, we found, we found the, the flow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know you, I know you we mean. found the flow. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm going to mess it up by leaving. But I was like, nah, I got to, I got to cut. I feel like it was, it definitely could have expanded, obviously, but I feel like for one, one season, mm -hmm. There was like a there was a beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, it yeah, felt like yeah. it was fully fleshed out. Obviously, like I said, it could have expanded, but I felt like what we had in that one season wasn't even a full season. I came in episode two, mm. so like yeah, but I felt like it was yeah. it was good. Yeah, I mean, what Taj, like, Taj is basically saying is that I left at the right time. Yeah, and you could, <laughs> that he doesn't need me no more. Yeah, which is that. fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a, it was a really like that series ten eleven was was great as well. But I remember series ten. 
like just those little moments here and there just made it really a special season. Mm. It was really, really fun. Mm. Really fun. Yeah. You I are mean, missed. Bless you, man. You I mean, missed, hey, man. man. Look, hey, I think I think we owe it to people to do one last tiny whiny. I think that's all people want, man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Taj will try and like introduce all of these like did, no really, clue. really ghetto dance moves. And he tries to make it be, feel like it's Caribbean and calm and just nice. But they're like real, like, gully. Well, no, no, I did, I did <laughs> like, <laughs> he's like this. Yeah, I did that like, the pot smoke dance in that scene. And I was like, oh, that's nice. I was like, it's a... <laughs> you know, the oranges of that dance, it's fun, but uh, I don't know how accurate it is to the, the current location, but... What, well, so you're up to, what's... So, yeah, so, so now, so one of the reasons why I, I, I left Death in Paradise was, was family. Mm as well as other reasons, but family and, and uh, we had just moved to a particular area and it was just one of those things where I just needed to ground the whole household mm. and get us to a point where we find our flow, okay. you know what I mean? Because my kid, so my daughter is five, she's the oldest, okay. and I've been doing Death in Paradise for seven seasons. So she's had six months of her dad, you know, yeah. and if, if, if it's right, then she'll come out with me to Guadeloupe but um, all of my kids have had had me intermittently you know for the last seven years so it, it just made sense for me to sort of give them some time so it was good to it was good in a sense of um, I was able to um, uh, this year well last year 2021 I've been able to sort of really spend time mm. with them uh, set her into her school set my son into his school get our house sort of where we need it to be. I've still been working, mm -hmm. you know, auditioning, all that jazz, but also running my company. I started the company in 2016. Because um, I'm hardly in the country, I can't really it's not, do it's much, not, you know yeah, what I mean? It's not easy to run a business when you're so, not in the... Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so last year was phenomenal. Okay. It was absolutely phenomenal actually being there and being able to run the company for the first time. Yeah. You know what I mean? For the first time. For the first time. Like you know properly, I mean? like properly be in station. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, wow. yeah. And so it's kind of developed another identity for me in the industry as yeah. as as an acting coach, which is which is um interesting. But I'm enjoying it, man, and I'm just flowing and I've got my, my fingers dipped in, in, in different areas. Was I able to direct a show last year? Really? Yeah, a theatre production last okay. year. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's 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 been very interesting, man. It's been very, very interesting, but um, this year, hope to to sort of crack on and, and, and get get acting again. You know what I mean? Be, be, get get a bit more active. Do right. what I what I know I can do. Okay. But still maintain the momentum of last year. You know because it's good and it's needed. You know what I mean? It's so needed. So yeah, man. Anything you wanna plug for out there? Let the people know. Wow, plug again. Uh, the floor's yours. Please. Um. Okay. Cool. Let's plug is a term that. Oh, yeah, what does plug mean? To promote. Oh, promote. promote. Okay, cool. Yes, you know yes, what I mean? Because, yes, you yes. know, like, like I'm, a, I'm like, internally gentrified. I know. You know what I mean? So you live in the fields. <laughs> no, but internally. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I used to be a hood and then it, it just came in and just changed. <laughs> yeah, but, well, just just, just my, my acting coaching company, you know, mm -hmm. Raw Tartazan. We are a company that specializes in creative integrity, getting actors to sort of get their vision across, help their mental health which is a big thing. Huge. Yeah, if you can focus on your talent, then it allows your mental health to be safe. You know what I mean? When you're auditioning and stuff and your, your whole process is not in the hands of the cast director or the director or the producer because you're satisfied with what you're doing. So yeah, so that's my company. Check us out, rawartisan.com. And yeah, that's me. And then hopefully see me in the future. Ooh, that, where that come from? Ooh. Oh my gosh! Oh, he's like, it's a oh, oh, there it's a oh gosh! We What's happening to me? He's like nutty professor. <laughs> <laughs> Body love. That's the best <laughs> but yes, people, thank you for tuning in again. Um, yeah, of course we're gonna keep it going. Now that I feel like I've upped the levels a little bit. Thank you to Toby. Thank you to. Oh, do you. Should we? Come on, should we? We got to come uh, in the show. Yeah. Uh, this is this is also a special thing as well. So if you not know, I was on a TV show called Class Dismissed, right? So if you know that, you will know who exactly who this is. Hi right, guys. <laughs> this is Mr. Billy Holland. Billy Holland is behind the camera yeah, this time. Yeah, doing a lot of stuff behind the camera. Back with my guy, you mm -hmm. know. It's good, it's good. Feeling We're going to sit together. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll sit together. So if you back. see, if you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, make sure the camera's still recording, isn't it? But yeah, so if you see the, just know Billy's behind all the visuals, making it look good, making me look nice and Toby look doing the best he can. But yeah, like, subscribe, share, all of that. Um, appreciate it. See you next time. Peace.